What's up guys? So I want to show you another research tool for finding design ideas and that's Etsy.com. And what I did was I typed in novelty shirts and I just hit search. And now what you're going to get is you're going to get a lot of, well, 17,000 results, you know, some t-shirts. And what you can do is once you find some stuff, once you find some designs that you like, like if I like this one, Jack Loeb, funny shirt, then what I like to do is go find out who's selling that, search man dude, okay? And then I go look at all of their shirts. So they have 442 shirts and uh, you can go see, that these are all their designs. So they had their own little store set up on Etsy. And so basically you're finding, you're looking for, you know, designs here on the main page and then you look for specific stores that have good designs and then you can kind of get some ideas for that. Um, let me pause the video like one second. All right guys, so I'm back and we're just gonna be browsing this Etsy. And the, the thing with Etsy is it doesn't actually tell you how many are sold. You don't know how popular something is. You're just gonna use your own intuition and to see if something is, you know, a good design. Uh, the pizza, meow. Who's the tough one, meow. So, so sociopath. Uh, what doesn't kill you disappoints me. So this must be related to seeing it. So what you can do is you can start noticing like some things are to sew or not to sew. What kind of question is that? So apparently it's targeting sewing. So what you're going to start noticing is some of these t-shirts targeting different, different niches. Like this is targeting farmer and cows and this is targeting golden retriever and this is targeting sewing people. This is targeting people that uh, play music, right? So now you're starting to identify niches and now you know how to target. So every every design, it's really important, every design must, 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 must be niche specific. If it doesn't have a niche and you do not know how to target it, then it's not something you want to even attempt. Like obviously this is fishing. Kinder tribe, so this is a, a kindergarten school teacher niche, okay? So you can definitely target this person on Facebook. You can target these pre people on Facebook. I'm coming for everything they say I can have. So I'm not sure exactly what that, maybe entrepreneur, I don't know. Busy doing nothing. So this, for like this, there's nothing to target, right? Get the fuck off shirt, nothing to target. I'm just here for the pizza, maybe you can do pizza. So this is kind of like, but pizza's not passionate, so it's really hard, right? This is just some of the examples, and you can just scroll through here, and uh, you know, let's see if they have any kind of filters, colors, adjustable, handmade, location, free shipping, so nothing like uh, sort by highest price, most recent. So yeah, I guess you could do most recent if you wanna see good new stuff, but I guess it was already on recent. Uh, what's this, Huffle Tough? So this is something with um, Harry Potter, I guess, right? Mixed with uh, a gym, gym person, a novelty, I don't know. Uh, one day I'd hit that, uh, so baby shirts. So you could do, I don't know, like, I'm not stubborn, it's my way. So yeah, you just kind of look through here. MP3, MP4, MP5. <laughs> See, I like this one, I like this one. So you could definitely target MP4 people or gun people that own assault rifles on Facebook, right? So this is something that I could, we could attempt. And I can go find a different, it's really simple. I can go find a different graphic for MP3, a different graphic for MP4, and a different graphic for MP5. And now my design's unique. And anybody could do this one. You don't even need a designer. You can just go Google, you know, search MP4, MP5 vector. So let's say MP4, MP5 ve vector image. And let's see what we find. Okay, so perfect. So. And then when you're searching Google Images, it's very important you go to settings, our tools, uh, more tools, where is it? User rights, okay, so you want to label for, labeled for a reuse with modification, okay? So that's what you want. Um, and then now you can get your MP5 right there. Uh, I'm thinking this is a AK, AR-15, that's not an MP5. So you just kinda, kinda set up, so let me, let me, Where's advanced search? Let me let me do that. So advanced search, yeah. So free to use, even commercially. Let's do that one right there. Free to use, share, and modify even commercially. So now we have MP5 vector, so we can get rid of image, right? And now we can use this one right there. And if you want to say MP4 vector, okay? MP4 vector. 
So maybe an MP4 is not the best thing. Maybe you put um, iPhone Vector. Uh, you could do one of these like this, okay? And then what is it? MP3, MP3, MP3 Vector. So something like this. You can even do this. Yeah, so no problem. So anybody can make this design. Just save those to your computer, arrange them in the way you want, and boom, now you have your own version of this, and now you can go test that uh, with the ad. So that's kind of like what I'm thinking about when I'm looking at uh, Etsy and how I'm making designs. I'm kind of just looking for something unique that I can target because you don't know the sales volume and you don't know how many shares, likes, or comments this, these kind of designs have. I guess I hope that kind of helps. Here, Border Collie Mom, it's a it's a rough life. So they're targeting the different types of dogs and you can do stuff like this. Not saying it doesn't work, but uh, a lot of people do these, so this is more hard. So I would not, if you're just starting out, I would not do a design like this because they've been over, I mean, a lot of people do these type of dog mom type of shirts, so or dog mom type of designs. So, I mean, it could work because you put the de a design similar on a new product, like a wallet case, then it could possibly work because it's not a t-shirt. I'm just telling you what designs are, you know, probably oversaturated. All right guys, so I'm done uh, with this video. I just wanted to show you kind of Etsy and let's move on.